to be repotting one of my friend's syngoniums. She has this beautiful pink syngonium that was hanging from a plant hanger that she had made at one of my workshops. And she has a very cute and curious cat that started nibbling and gnawing on some of these um, trailing ends here. So today I'm going to show you how to repot that and uh, I'll give you some tips and tricks along the way. This is called Pink Syngonium. Uh, that is because you'll see here the leaves have this really nice pink hue. It's also called the arrowhead vine. And uh, the pink is going to become more predominant once it's sitting in a brighter light situation. Otherwise, if it doesn't have that bright light situation, it's going to look more bleached and it will be uh, green like this. So uh, that's what was happening at my girlfriend's house. There wasn't enough light where it was. And um, since I brought it home, which was about, I'm going to say, probably about two months ago, I have not watered it once since then. Um, and that goes to show the sunlight, it wasn't getting enough sunlight at her house. Um, and it wasn't absorbing the water. And I could tell that by the weight that I add the pot had itself. I don't have to know how heavy it was before. Soil is just not heavy. Um, so this pot has a lot of weight to it, so I know it has some water to work on. And I know it's probably not healthy water because there's not uh, drainage holes at the bottom. So it's been sitting for two months in my east window getting a lot of warm morning sun and um, it has been growing for me. It has been giving me new shoots and you can have your arrowhead in two ways. You can have it as a potted plant with just upright shoots like this or you can allow it to trail like this because it will go ahead and just push off more longer nodes. Um, and uh, I mean, either way is beautiful. I think uh, I might take a clipping and uh, make it a trailing plant for myself because I just have a lot of um, high ceiling, so I like trailing plants. But anyway, so the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to clip off some of these uh, trailing ends here, and I'm gonna show you how we can propagate that. Then next, I'm going to uproot the whole thing and repot that in a pot that has drainage. So, I'm going to throw my hair out and let's take a look at what we have here. I sterilized these shears off camera. So, what I'm going to do is all my cuttings I'm going to do below a node. This here is a node. Every line, let's say it's like a knuckle, is a new node. Okay? It's a node. Focus. That's a node. That's a node. That's a node. That's a node. Okay, so I'm going to cut it below the node. All your cuts, any cut that you want to be successful, you need to ensure you're cutting below the node. So this one here, you see that there is a, a leaf here and there's a node right below it. So I'm maintaining that node. I'm going to cut right above the leaf and that leaf is going to photosynthesize this for me and hopefully we will get growth. I'm going to do that for all of these and I like to leave a little T intersection here because I feel like it just promotes the most root growth um, through different trial and error processes that I have gone through. Y'all, <laughs> I just broke my scissors. 
But that's okay. I have other ones on the table. Just need to sanitize them, sterilize them. We need to have to get out. Sun. So another thing that I should mention, I'm noticing that this plant has a white sap that it is seeping every time I cut it. And so if you have sensitive skin, you're just going to want to be mindful of that. Wash your hands after you're done this project. Wear gloves if you need to, um, but just avoid touching your, your face <laughs> or anything that could be sensitive. Alright, so you can probably see a lot better now that I've removed the leggy legs um, that the root ball was planted very high, um, much higher than the uh, rim of the pot. And um, I'm pretty much going to give a blanket statement here. Um, for all cases other than really epiphytic plants, you're going to want to plant the root below the soil, below the rim of the pot. And um, you're also going to want to have a pot that has some drainage. I'm outside, my neighbor is just, um, you know, doing some stuff, so don't mind me. That's what you get when you're outside. So, um, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to repot this guy. Uh, I have a garbage tin here. I have the new pot that it's going to go into, and it has some drainage. And also, I have my soil, and my soil is a mixture of cocoa fiber, um, worm castings, and some perlite. Uh, you can check out my highlights on my Instagram to see how I made that mixture. Right, and then let's get started. We're going to shake it all off in here and just see what we're working with, see what the roots look like. We'll go from there. So, with the fact that this pot has zero drainage, um, this is the reason why I haven't had to water it in months, um, because I can even feel the soil on the bottom is quite moist, and also, I can see the layer in which my friend added the soil herself and the original bulb that this plant was in. So, I often see that a lot, and what's important when you're repotting any plant is you wanna make sure you're massaging the root system just to make sure you know you're stretching its legs and um, you're giving it a new place to go because right now these roots have a memory and that memory is of the previous pot that it was in. So as I'm removing the old, uh, the new soil that my friend added, I'm noticing that there isn't really any root systems that have grown into it um, because the roots weren't massaged. I mean, there's a bit of roots that have gone down right into the bottom section, but that's because we're most, that's where all the water was pooled and whatnot. And also, it smells like water that's been sitting. So. We'll fix that, we'll add um, a higher draining soil. I really like this soil mixture that I have. And um, holy moly, guys. <sighs> Don't make me out, you plant owner. There's plastic down here. I'm like, what the frick am I feeling? Oh, this poor plant has a plastic tray and it has gone and wrapped its roots all around it. Let's get it out. Oh my god guys, this plant is not going to be happy.
We hardly have any root waste at all. And we are about to replant this pink syngonium in some nice healthy cocoa fiber. So what I'm going to do, so I'm just going to put a light layer down. Um, pretty much this is going to kind of go all in. <laughs> And I don't want to pat this down, I'm going to actually hit it down like this to fill those air pockets um, because you don't want to be compressing the root system or potentially breaking it. Do you know what I mean? What I've done here is I've left, what is that, like two inches of space here so I can water it appropriately. Um, the soil is even, the roots are in, and um, the new growth that had already been happening in the time that I've had it is sticking out. And, uh, and yeah, I'm going to take some before and after pictures for you guys. And uh, once I start to see some uh, good growth and I know that it's comfortable in its new home, that's when I'm going to give it back to its owner. Um, but otherwise, you're mine. All right, now, this one's pretty simple. We're just going to be doing a propagation of the Syngonium cuttings with leaves. Alright guys, that's it. I'm gonna have to like reinforce this or just kind of make sure everything stays roots in, but that's it. Easy peasy. so much for watching um, if you guys have any feedback for me or questions for me please don't hesitate to reach out um, but otherwise again thanks so much for watching have a great day peace and love